got one. We got one. Hey everyone, Nick here, and today is a little bit of overcast mixed with some sunshine, so I'm gonna take and go fishing. <laughs> but before I go, I figured I would take a quick second and make a quick video showing you my jet ski DIY fishing setup. So you know you can order these fishing baskets for a couple hundred dollars, probably three, four hundred bucks, but uh I made my own. It's not as pretty. But I made my own less than a hundred dollars, probably about eighty bucks. So uh, I figured I'd take a quick second, show you how I did it. Maybe it'll entice somebody to make their own fishing basket or whatever. Well, who knows? But anyway, show you what I got. All right, so I have it completely set up how I take it on the water. Now I can drive to the lake just like this. Nothing will blow off. Nothing will come off. And like I said, I can drive to the water completely just like this. Just pull my bottom straps off the ski down there the black straps launch the ski and i'm fishing it's that easy so i've got a little minnow bucket here you can stop bring your own minnows if you want to or uh, throw a cast net out catch some shad whatever you want to fish with you know what i'm saying it's really nice to have when you need it i got a little cooler here for my drinks keep me cold a couple fishing rods one on each side here i do have these little black bungees holding my fishing rods on got all our tackle inside this one little mesh netting up there to make sure nothing flies out got us a little waterproof bag over here hooked on by this big carabiner well medium size carabiner I guess you could say got us uh, some needle nose pliers up there they do have a black bungee on them just in case one of the little bungees just in case uh you know it wants to fall out but i've never had an issue with it i even have a little bluetooth speaker that i can hook on right here make sure that i got my little bit of tunes which i got radio on the bluetooth but it's extremely loud so this i can quiet it down really low and uh it's not obnoxious while i'm out there trying to fish let's see uh how i have it strapped down the basket is strapped down well you can't really see nothing on this side let me lift that up we have uh some orange velcro straps they have a built-on carabiner on one side so i hook the carabiner up to the basket and then i strap two of these underneath the seat here on that rail pull as tight as i can get it hook the velcro up that side's secure come around to the back hook up these two straps on the back pull them tight she's on there she's going nowhere i don't ride to the lake with my minnow bucket on there i do put the minnow bucket on there when i get to the lake if i'm fishing with minnows or i'm gonna throw a cast net then i'll put it on there if i'm using worms i'll use worms whatever whatever i use like the bass fish so that's what i like to go out and do this if i'm gonna do something like a fish for catfish or something i'll go to my buddy's house he's got a really nice pond or he's, he lives on a lake with a really nice dock and let's just say there's like 30 pound catfish right off his dock all you gotta do is cast out and you're catching 30 pounders sweet it's really nice but uh yeah this is my fishing setup just some pvc pipes a couple couple baskets these things are 350 bucks for a nice one if you want to order a really nice one made by some factory or whatever that's about what you're gonna pay so hopefully this will encourage some people to just make their own instead of going out and buying one like i said this will do everything i needed to do I'm extremely happy with it I'm not sure how high these fishing poles go behind me maybe I'll measure that maybe 12 15 feet uh, maybe 11 feet let's see how tall they are hold on one second. all right so I just measured to the top of my fishing pole there and it's 10 foot to the top of the fishing pole from the ground so as long as we have a 10 foot clearance we'll be all right so uh, yeah hey that's my DIY fishing basket set up for my jet ski. I hope if anybody needs to make them a jet ski fishing basket, this helps out. Now, of course, you can make it a lot better than mine if you want to. I do got the little foam on the bottom to make sure I don't tear up my platform or whatever. But yeah, hey, let's go fishing.
one. We got one. It ain't very big, but we got one with a little worm. Ah, look at that. Crappy? Pretty good size crappy. Just got another one. He's even smaller than the last guy. Ha, ha, ha.